Good morning, so it's Monday morning and this week I thought I would film a reading vlog because you may or may not know um, if you follow me on Instagram that we have recently got another new addition. We have rehomed another puppy from the rescue in Cyprus where we got Loki last summer, this time a beautiful tiny tiny brindle girl that we have called Darcy and She's settling in pretty well. She's much more timid than Loki was. So we're just taking it slowly. Luckily, Loki is very settled. So I think he is helping a lot. But in order to settle her, in order to toilet train her, I have got a week of annual leave and the kids are in school. So it's basically just me and the dogs in the house. And I thought, what else am I gonna do other than a week of reading? And there are quite a few books that I want to get to. If you saw my summer TBR, you'll know some of them. At the moment, let me just pop my tea down at the moment i am reading assassin's quest by robin hobb this is a huge book it's over 800 pages and i have about 300 left it's the final book in the farcia trilogy which is the first trilogy set in robin hobb's realm of the elderling and i'm doing a reread of this so this trilogy i have read before and this is a reread for me and um, i'm very much enjoying it we're right at the point now where some of the things that Robin Hobb introduced in the first two books are beginning to be explained. So things are beginning to come together. And although I've got, here comes Pepper. Sorry about that, Pepper was just click clacking in the background. So yeah, although I've got 300 pages left, a lot of things are happening. So I'm desperate to kind of get to the end. I'm also listening to this as well as reading it. So I could do a little bit of my sewing and listen as well. We will see, but this is definitely my priority. Then I would quite like to pick up Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a much anticipated release for me. I don't normally buy hardbacks unless it's an author that I absolutely adore. And I know that I'm gonna to want to read the book as soon as it's out. That is very much the case with this one. So I would love to get to this one ASAP. If I manage to finish that, then I think I will probably, if I don't pick another one off my TBR, I'll probably go for The Children of Jocasta by Natalie Haynes, because this again, is a much anticipated read for me. It was recommended to me after I said that I loved A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes, but I wanted a little bit more of, a, of an in-depth storyline. This was recommended to me, so very much looking forward to it. So they're kind of my initial reading plans, but honestly, if all I've got to do is take the dog outside and read, then um, I think I might manage to get all three books read and then I might end up jumping into something else. So as I said, this is my priority, Three, just under 300 pages left of this. I may even get that finished today. And then I have these two to pick from. So there will probably be a little bit of puppy spam in this, although as I say, she is much more timid, so don't really necessarily want to be sticking a camera in her face. Um, but yeah, maybe a bit of puppy spam, definitely some reading. I'll try and make it quite chilled because honestly, I'm not gonna do that much. If you want to come along, that would be great. For now, um, I'm gonna sit and read, so I'll check in with you all later. <laughs> So it's just coming up to one o'clock. I have just filmed my summer TBR. I did a little bit of reading, just read my summer TBR. I'm now on page 655 of 837. So making some progress with Assassin's Quest. Honestly, hope to get this finished today, but time is running away from me. Um, been up and down a little bit with the pup and had to make her a vet appointment because I'm a little bit concerned about how skinny she is and I'm wondering if we need to be feeding her more so tomorrow afternoon I'm going to take her to the vets so we will know some more right now I'm going to make some lunch and then honestly just going to keep ticking away at this um I say it like it's a chore it's not it's absolutely all coming together and there are little things that I remember and there are things that I'd clearly forgotten and when I see a little nugget that I remember I'm like oh I remember that and I remember how it links to things that happen later and it's such it's such a cool feeling to know how th it's this huge widespread world that Robin Hobb has created and there are so many different strands that eventually 
come together and I'm beginning to see that happen now and it's just very very good and I wish that I could just sit and read all afternoon and not do anything else but I do need to eat and I do need to feed the dogs so I'm gonna go and do that then I'm gonna do some more reading morning so just a quick update it's actually Wednesday today I didn't do any filming or really any reading on Tuesday I was supposed to have a really quick zoom meeting on Tuesday even though on my annual leave I'd agreed to go to it and it was only supposed to be an hour and it ended up being hours and hours long and I was just exhausted by the end of it so I really didn't do that much of anything um, but I will film today and for the rest of the week all being well. In terms of reading I have literally got about 30 pages left of Assassin's Quest. I'm right at the end of this book. So really enjoying it as I said before, really enjoying the way everything is starting to come together and then I'm going to probably finish this one and then pick up Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid because Although I'm enjoying this, it is quite hefty and there is a lot of information to take in. There's a lot of world building that goes on and Robin Hobb very much begins to set the scene for how the later books will play out. So there is just a lot going on. So I probably won't want to jump into something that takes a lot of my thought processes next and I think Malibu Rising will just be perfect uh, because I just really get on with Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing style. So that is all to say that I'm going to sit now and finish this book. It is so warm today. Normally I would end my clip by saying and I'll make a cup of tea but actually I think that would make me melt so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah I'm just going to get on and finish. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be starting this. Oh, so excited. So it's just coming up to two o'clock. Um, I can't remember if I said earlier that I was doing something with work today. I know I mentioned I was doing something yesterday with work. I have just filmed, um, or just recorded a soundbite for work for a radio advert that's going out for my work that I do with the food bank um, and you would not think that I talk to camera or talk to a phone as a hobby day in day out honestly I was so nervous my mouth was dry the producer kept saying to me just try and do it conversationally just relax and, and do it like you're chatting and I was like I am trying I'm not reading it I'm trying I'm trying I'm just really really nervous I think because of what it is and I'm aware that if I'm not concentrating on what I'm saying I tend to go um a lot so I was trying very hard not to do that and I don't know if I liked it they kind of made me do it three or four times and then they were like, okay, I think we've got enough. I don't know if they liked it. I don't know if I'll even appear on it. Maybe they'll cut me out and find somebody else. I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad that is over. I did manage to start Malibu Rising before I had to stop. I couldn't concentrate because I was that nervous about what I had to do. So I'm not very far in. Oh, let me see where I am. I am up to page 26. I have a feeling this is going to be extremely readable for me. So very much looking forward to carrying on with this, which is what I'm going to do now. I've got about an hour and a half before the kids come home from school. So I'm going to take advantage of that. The puppy is down there sleeping next to me. So yeah, taking full advantage of that and doing some reading. Honestly, I love it already. I've only read less than 30 pages and I love it already. So I don't know if I have explained what this book is about actually, but I've just realized something else uh, which connects to my last little clip. So this is set during the 80s and we have the four Reaver siblings who every year throw 
this elaborate party that has become the place to be because their father was Mick Reaver, a famous musician. And we are meeting the siblings in 1983, I think it was definitely the early 1980s when something happens at their party and Malibu is set alight, basically. And so we're following the run up to that and what has gone on so so far we've met all four siblings and we're just kind of delving into where they are in their lives and what they've got going on obviously to build an air of mystery what i've just realized is mick reaver is actually evelyn hugo's third husband in the seven husbands of evelyn hugo mick reaver the dad is evelyn's husband and i think may also feature in Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm gonna Google it in a minute, but I really feel like he's not in the band, but I feel like he is a character, a side character in that story. Which I just love, I love that she has connected all three of those books together. I just think that is so, so cool. Um, so yeah, very much enjoying it. We've just jumped back into the 1950s when Mick meets June, um, who is the who is the mother of the four siblings. So we've got kind of a dual timeline thing happening, and then obviously our main story is set in the 80s. But yeah, really, really enjoying it so far. I don't know how concerned I should be that I've just walked up two flights of stairs, and it's taken me a minute to catch my breath. <laughs> to catch my breath. So. It's Thursday today, otherwise known as just having to be an adult today and do house chores and tidying and cleaning and all that jazz. So probably not gonna get too much reading done today, but I did want to give you an update. Actually, that's not true because I'll probably listen to my audiobook and I'm listening to Sweet Little Lies by Kaz Freer. If you watched my recent wrap up, you'll know that I read Stone Cold Heart by Kaz Freer, which is actually the second book in the DC Cat Kinsella series, but you can read them as standalones, but I've gone back to the beginning and I'm reading the first one or listening to the first one. So I'll probably listen to that because I haven't listened to that at all this week and I did enjoy the audiobook of Stone Cold Heart. So yeah, we'll park that. But in terms of Malibu Rising, I am 128 pages in and honestly, what can I say? I'm loving it. I knew I would love it. Um, obviously I don't know where the story is going to go but in terms of the character development and just the setting that Taylor Jenkins Reid has created she's done exactly what she did when I read Daisy Jones and when I read Evelyn Hugo in that half the time I'm fighting the urge to google and see if these people are real because she just creates the setting so so well um, I just absolutely love it so obviously it's still reserving my judgment as to where the story is going to go and how it's going to develop but really really liking it so far but probably won't get too much of that done because as i say i've got house chores and things to do and that's not one of my dogs but i do think someone's dog is barking outside so uh, i'm sure that's quite annoying as an audio thing so um yeah i'm gonna go and i will um update you all later Friday and I wanted to do a reading update. I really thought that I would have finished Malibu Rising by now. Hasn't quite happened. Not sure if it's something to do with the fact that we are having to get up at 2am every morning to take Darcy out and we're both tired. It's like having a newborn again in that the sleep deprivation hits you hard. Genuinely thought I would have finished. I'm not too far off. I'm about... 230, 240 pages in, very much enjoying it. When I'm picking it up, when I'm reading it, I'm loving it. I stand by the fact that Taylor Jenkins Reid knows how to tell a story. Um, there's just something about her writing style that I just love. Uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. If I had to make a criticism, I would say that, and I'm comparing this mostly to Evelyn Hugo, which is probably my favourite Taylor Jenkins Reid book so far, there are a lot of 
character story arcs in this book because we're following the four siblings and we're following a historic timeline with Mick Reaver and the mother June we're following their romance um, and their lives there are a lot of characters now in Evelyn Hugo there are a lot of characters but you're only predominantly following the story arc of Evelyn Hugo the other characters are just side characters or a part of her story whereas we're following each individual sibling and each individual sibling is also at a really crucial point in their lives when we meet them, when we come to this party. Each of them has a big decision to make or they're facing some big drama or there's just something important happening. So there are a lot of different topics and different themes to be explored and it just feels a little bit busy and like we're not getting to spend enough time with the characters to build empathy, to build sympathy, to build that connection. We're getting a very surface level look and that's fine. And it's almost more like a snapshot, like a, a quick peek into the lives of these characters and that is fine, uh, but character connection is big for me. So I feel a little bit like I would have wanted more of that. Maybe that's why I'm not reading it as quickly because I'm trying to then savour the very short time that we're getting to spend with the characters. But that's all to say, hopefully I'll get it finished today as I've been saying throughout the week but nothing else going on really. I should be able to, uh, to get it finished. have been watching an awful lot of Schitt's Creek on Netflix. It's my new favourite, I adore it, I just think it's br brilliant and I have been leaning a little bit more to watching that rather than, oops, to put myself in the chin, rather than reading. But that is all to say that I really hope that today I get this finished. I, I, I don't know, maybe I made that sound like I wasn't enjoying it or really critical. I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Love Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing style, love the setup, love the scene, love the characters. Just would have liked a bit more time with my characters, I guess. Which, if you've been around my channel a while, you'll know that character connection is key for me and it's maybe missing a little bit in this book. But we'll see how we go, we'll see how it ends. I'll update you all, I'm sure, when I have finished it. And yeah, I'll speak to you all later. we come full circle I'm back where I started this vlog sitting on my sofa so I have not long finished Malibu Rising honestly don't have much more to add beyond what I said in the last clip really enjoyed it really love Taylor Jenkins Reid's ability to tell a story love her setting all of that the whole kind of culture and glamour and I just think she captures it so so well but I wish that um we'd had a bit more time with our characters or there had been fewer characters whose story arcs we were following but honestly it's still a 4.5 star read I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and I would highly recommend it if you like Taylor Jenkins Reid's books I thought it was great um, other than the things that I have already talked about and that is going to be pretty much it for this reading vlog didn't read as much as I thought that I would so I'm a little bit disappointed with myself but I did have a variety of other things going on and obviously I got pulled into work when I wasn't expecting to which did make a difference as well I think um but yeah so probably now I'm feeling like I might pick up The Wonder by Emma Donoghue which is a book on my summer TBR if you didn't see my summer TBR video I'll link it in the description bar down below but yeah I'm gonna have mull on it but I think that is what I am leaning towards something a little bit darker I read something heavy in the form of Robin Hobb then I read something very entertaining and now I think I'm going to go for something a bit atmospheric and dark but I'm sure if you follow me on Goodreads I'm sure you'll see my decision that, that I made but for now I'm going to leave it here thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you aren't already let me know if you've read Malibu Rising if it's on your TBR let me know uh, I definitely would recommend it I don't know that I've sold it or done it justice in this video I feel like I've complained about it quite a bit but honestly it was great very very entertaining, very readable, very engaging, just a few minor complaints really uh, which lost it half a star but apart from that really did enjoy it. Uh, yeah so thank you for watching, I hope that you are all keeping safe and well uh, and I'll see you all soon.